Okay, so if you remember, we've discussed taking positive integer powers of a square matrix. Right, a cubed would be a times a times a, and so on. And we ended up with a question. The question was, what about negative powers, negative integer powers of a matrix? Is it possible? The answer is yes, only for invertible square matrices. So our assumption is we take an invertible square matrix. So let A be an arbitrary n by n matrix. So let this matrix A be invertible. So A inverse exists. We can now make sense of, if you think of it, A to the negative k for any positive integer k as being quite simply A inverse times A inverse times A inverse times A inverse exactly k times. And this is for any positive integer k. And it's a very natural definition of a negative exponent, only of course if a inverse exists. If a inverse does not exist, a negative integer power of the matrix is not defined. Let's consider a simple example in the case of a 2 by 2 matrix. What if we take the matrix to be 1, 2, 3, 4? We have the shortcut formula for the inverse. 1 over AD minus BC, so we get 4 minus 6, that's negative 2, so negative 1 half. We flip the diagonal entries. For 1, we negate the other two entries. Now, let's not leave the negative here, let's multiply it through, but leave the 1 half outside, which will give us negative 4, 2, 3, negative 1. So here's A inverse for this 2 by 2 matrix. So suppose we simply asked for a to the negative 2, well that would be a inverse times a inverse. Well let's perform the multiplication. a inverse times itself, so 1 half, negative 4, 2, 3, negative 1, times 1 half, negative 4, 2, 3, negative 1. The first thing as always is do not drag fractional scalar multiples in the multiplication, simply bring them up front. So this will give you a one-half times one-half one-quarter times negative four, two, three, negative one times itself. And then we can perform this single matrix multiplication. So we'll get 16 plus 6, 22, negative 8, negative 2, negative 10, second row, negative 12, negative 3, negative 15, 6 plus 1, positive 7. So there you have it. This is a to the negative 2. And if you wanted a to the negative 3, well, you could do, of course, a inverse times a inverse times a inverse, start from scratch, or you can do much better. You can do a to the negative 2, which we have just found, times a inverse. So if you perform a to the negative 2, which is this matrix, times a inverse, which is this matrix, you will get a to the negative 3. I will leave the calculations up to you, and that's basically it. This is how you can take negative integer powers of an invertible matrix. Simply multiply A inverse k times with itself. And that's it.